In today's Your Healthy Family, when Connor Burge arrived at the UC Health Memorial Hospital Emergency Room in December of 2020, his arm was severely injured and doctors weren't sure they could save it. And I really thought that Connor might end up with an amputation. It's a conversation that we had with Dr. Delianis and his family, and it was a real consideration. Every surgery, every day, they reminded me it's still a possibility he's going to lose his arm. Simply putting Connor's broken arm and leg back together after the car accident was a feat of orthopedic skill. His upper arm was broken uh, at the shaft, of pretty, we call it comminute or several pieces. His nerves were exposed in his arm. In his, in his femur bone, he had what's called an interarticular distal femur fracture, meaning that his knee joint had come apart in several pieces. And so both of those injuries required stabilization, um, putting those small pieces back together, putting metal plates and screws across there to hold them together until his body healed everything up. To fully restore an arm that's missing, skin and muscle, takes so much more than just putting the bone back together. It takes everything to, you need blood flow, you need muscle, you need nerves, you need bones, you need all those things coming together. Um, our job is to, to get the, the mechanics, the architecture restored, get the bones back in place, and then he comes in and uh, gets things covered up for us, because if we, can't, if we can't cover up the bone like that, that's an amputation. He is plastic surgeon Dr. Fred Delianis, who had his work cut out for him to rebuild Connor's arm. This is pretty challenging in the sense that it's a lot, a lot of wounds require soft tissue coverage. Few really need a, a nerve transfer at the same time, but when you're missing the ability to flex or extend, say, a body part, if you can figure out a way to actually make the muscle contract, and function like a muscle that would make something move, it has a real added benefit of providing function, not just coverage. Uh, without a muscle flap, he would have an amputation, uh, but with a muscle flap that has a nerve supply, you now have a, a arm that can uh, move better than it would just with a coverage only. Hindsight, Connor sums up Dr. Delianis' work. Pretty matter of fact. Dr. Delianis is the, he's the doctor that reconstructed my arm uh, and did a muscle graft from my leg to put it in place of my bicep muscle, and he reconnected my radial nerve and just repaired everything in my arm. But Dr. Delianis explains exactly what went into weaving muscle and nerves and tissue together to help Connor keep his arm. Yeah, so Connor's arm was missing tissue uh, basically down to the bone, the humerus, which is a, the main bone of the arm. And when you have a bone exposed like that with a fracture and uh, nerves also being exposed, you need to cover them with soft tissue. So our job really was to replace what was missing, but also to try to provide what is called a functional uh, muscle transfer. So with the biceps uh, partially missing, which is the main flexor of the elbow, uh, we had to put muscle in there that would not only cover the bone, the hardware, and the nerves, but also try to give an innervation to the muscle so that the muscle could contract and give him good elbow flexion so he'd have good upper extremity uh, function. To get that muscle, you could say Dr. Delianis said to Rob Peter to pay Paul and then reconnect the arm nerves to the new muscle from the leg to bring the arm back to life. And so what our job was really is to do a free flap, a, a transfer of muscle from the thigh into the gap that was missing the, the muscle and then we hooked up a nerve of the free flap into an, a native nerve of the arm to allow it to contract so that he'd have good elbow flexion. The ingenuity I give Dr. Delianis credit for, figuring out how to get the muscles kind of over there. But Dr. Delianis had, had good tricks up his sleeve, so we're, we're very fortunate to have Dr. Delianis uh, on our team. In our next story, how Connor is doing these days and more of his reunion with the many caregivers who helped him along the way. For your Healthy Family, I'm Meyer Cronin. For more stories, at yourhealthyfamily.com.